Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today, I'm still on location, but I actually for remembered to bring my glass today. I've got my little Glen carrier. And, and the best thing about that is you can carry one Glen and at least a sample or two of uh, your favorite beverage of choice. So today we're doing Barrel. Now this is a Kentucky bourbon, 50, er, 18 years old. Finished in PX Sherry casks at 119.4 proof. 120, basically. Proof, so 60% alcohol almost. 18 years old, Kentucky in PX. This is going to be interesting because, you know, Barrel does a lot of blending of Kentucky and uh, Tennessee. I do a lot of Tennessee stuff, which is almost always Dickel. So this is exciting that this is an 18 year old Kentucky. Now this was sent to me by Darrell Stewart. Some of you know him as the whis Whiskey Saint. Yeah, Whiskey Saint, not the Whiskey Savant. That's what my brain wanted to say, the Whiskey Saint. And he sent this to me and I couldn't wait to try it. So here we are on location yet again, having a little lunch whiskey. Just what we do, right? That's just how we do it. And you don't have a boss, you can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, when you're the boss. I can decide this is what I want. And so I can do it. Ooh. Wow, okay. Let's dive into this. That is freaking gorgeous. heavy vanilla but then a heavy dark fruit note like behind the vanilla it's like this really bright beautiful vanilla and then like dark stewed plums or it's not quite raisiny it's more like more plummy not a crazy amount of bear of oak influence I shouldn't say not a crazy amount of barrel influence because the, the sherry is showing up. It's not a real funky, musty sherry though. It's a very bright, pretty, fruity sherry. Just really gorgeous on the approach. Wow. There's a little bit of like a, a cracker or a flatbread kind of a note there, a little breadiness, a little buttery, bready quality, not like croissant, but like like Ritz cracker or, or flatbread kind of. That's pretty, let's taste. Oh, that's even better on the palate than on the nose. It's salty and chocolatey, really nice amount of heat, but it doesn't blow you out. It's, it drinks way below 120 proof. Wow. Oh man, that, there's a hint of, of nuttiness now. That drinks fantastic it's grapey fruity really sweet and decadent but at the same time robust enough that you're it's like yeah you're drinking freaking bourbon here the nose is getting a little bit of that that nuttiness oh this is lovely Ooh. Oh, that nutty and chocolate. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It's like that nuttiness, that peanut butteriness, and that chocolate note, and that little bit of salt. That's a Reese's peanut butter cup right there with dipped in some kind of jam. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Thank you so much, Darrell. I'm going to have to find a bottle of this. This is wildly good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, don't judge all barrel products. If you're like me and don't love Dickel, 
check the bottle. Check the bottle. So if it says Tennessee, mm, be concerned. If it doesn't say Tennessee, if it says Kentucky, it's probably something great. So give it a whirl. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day.